How's it going guys? So today I'm going to be showing you the differences between my new personal planner and my Erin Condren from last year. Um, so let's get into it. So first thing you will notice is there's a pretty big size difference. The personal planner which is here um, is, I believe it's an A4 size. Um, it's an 8.5 by 11 whereas the Erin Condren is leaving like a 8 by something. I'm not sure exactly the size on the Erin Condren, but um, stacking them on top, you can kind of see the pretty big difference, um, mainly on the bottom, on how much bigger the personal planner is. Um, and the personal planner is way more customizable than the Erin Condren. Yes, you can do the custom covers on the Erin Condren, as well as the personal planner, but um, I, I've, I think I've tried to do the collages before on the Erin Condren, and sometimes they're a little bit funky on the picture uploads. Um, so I've had problems before on trying to do on covers, and also when you do the covers, it's it's hard to do different back covers. This is actually a cover from a different set because. You couldn't choose a different front and back cover. It was like if you chose this front cover, you had to get the back cover the same. With personal planner, you can do everything pretty much custom. Um, you have two rows of custom lettering you can do. I just did one. Um, and then the front, I used this um, really colorful map of the world, which I really love. Um, and then on the back, I chose a completely different back cover, which was only you can make it happen and then I'm probably going to end up putting some stickers and stuff on the back of this just to make it a little more colorful um, but you can have different front and backs and you can also upload photos, collages, all that stuff if you want um, a more customized. I didn't spend a lot of time this year on super customized but you definitely have the option to upload a lot more stuff to put on your planner. So then you're pretty much done with the customization for the Erin Condren other than picking, find a layout that's not written on, um, other than picking your actual spread layout so that she has vertical, vertical hourly, and horizontal right now, which are all good options if that's, you know, one of those things that you're looking for. I like the hourly vertical except for the fact that the times don't actually match up for what I need. Um, horizontal, I I don't use horizontal a lot um, for planning, so I didn't really like that one. And then, so I went with the vertical, and which is fine. But sometimes these boxes can get a little small, um, especially if you want to write more in them. So that was my only kind of issue with Erin Condren was. Sometimes the space wasn't big enough to really write in. So, with the personal planner, um, it's not a laminated cover, but you do have a decent sheet of vellum on the front. Um, and then the cardstock is decent as well for a glossy on the actual cover it's printed. Um, and then you pretty much go into all the customization you have with personal planner. So, the front page, which is like your contact sheet, uh, Excuse me, uh, is completely customizable. Um, I love putting some of my favorite quotes and inspirational sayings and stuff just to, uh, you know, keep me inspired and motivated. Um, and also, I do put my contact information down here, um, just in case I do accidentally lose my planner. Someone might actually try to give it back. Um, but then we have the actual planner layout itself. So uh, this is the layout I chose this time, which is a little bit different for me. It's a 4x4 grid with, there's actually two ways you can get this grid. I chose the, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We can also get it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if you want to do like your full half week over here and you don't have to flip back and forth to get to the other half of the week, you can do that. Um, also color pattern wise, there's a few options for color pattern. I kind of like this like 
mishmash, um, rainbowish kind of pattern. So that's what I went with. Every day has a different color. And I chose the alternating colored lines on each day just so I can straighten out my writing a little bit because sometimes I like to curve it down a little bit when I'm writing. So just to help me uh, stay a little bit straighter and get more space or use out of my space. The upper bar here is also customizable. I chose this kind of blue starry galaxy. Um, there are a lot of different options and I'm, I don't think you can upload anything but there are so many different options. You could also just leave it blank. Um, that, you know, you'll find something that you like. Okay, and then the bottom bar um, is all customizable. Um, you always get the notes, I'm pretty sure, and you definitely always get the current month and the future month. Um, these four boxes down here are all customizable, and I think there's like nine, nine six to nine different options for each of these boxes, and you could do all the boxes the same, or you could do um, it blank as well. So I did it to do this week, list of the week, just a blank checklist. And then this one, which is kind of an open box for, it has idea of the week, goals, or art. So you could do like a quote or something. I'm planning on like writing a good quote for the week there. Or if I decide to actually like doodle or do some goals or something, not sure yet. Um, but that's, that's the same, that's um, repeated every week, it's always the same. Uh, then on each actual individual day, um, you have a few options. I chose the today's workout block, um, which I believe this is the large block. There's a large block and a small block. Um, basically, I think the small block just has like enough room for like your time. I think it's like half the size of this. Uh, and then you also have the option for, I think, a work block so you can write how many hours you worked and also like weather conditions so you can have those on every day um, so you can you know those are the kind of things that you want to track um, without having to necessarily like rewrite like work hours work out and all that the same it's already kind of in there you can just like fill in the box uh, so the monthly layouts um, I like the size of the boxes. It's a decent size, enough room to write in. Um, you also have some of the funky holidays, along with you can put custom uh, birthdays or event days as well. So like I put all my family birthdays in, so like this is my dad's birthday. Um, they have like all the funky, you can choose different country holidays. Um, I chose US obviously. But I don't know how many different countries they have the actual holiday, the fe like kind of like federal holidays for. Um, and then in the back, uh, these are also 12, mo 12 month calendars. The Aaron Condren's, you only have the option of January to December or June or July. I think it's June. Oh no, it's July. It's July through June. Basically, you have a calendar year or a fiscal year, or you can do a fiscal year plus the remaining six months. So you can get onto a January to December calendar. The personal planner, you can start any month that you want. So I had mine start um, June of 2018. So mine goes through the end of May of 2019. Um, they actually give you one extra week in here, but it's a 12 month calendar. So if you want to go September through August or March through February, you have that option and you don't have to uh, get a calendar that you're not gonna use a few months of, or you have to like use a few months that you don't necessarily want to use kind of thing. Um, so that's the nice thing. Mine, uh, like I said, is June through May. Um, then for the back section, I got all double-sided lined paper. There are um, several more options. You can get grid paper, um, you can get coloring pages, you can get calendar outlines for like the next three years, I believe. Like for this one, I think you get 18, 19, and 2020. If I wanted the like outlines to start marking stuff, I decided to do all the lined paper for... Um, 
uh, so I can write stuff down for some events I'm going to so I don't have to take an extra notebook because I think it's like 25 or 30 pages of lined paper which is a decent amount and it's like a college rule width they're a little bit smaller so it's actually quite a bit of writing space then you also get um, this envelope that's just removable and you can put it anywhere you want it's just a open pocket envelope and they include one set of their stickers um, which they're nice stickers I use them sometimes um, not necessarily a whole lot just because I don't necessarily use a whole lot of stickers but um, they're still pretty nice stickers they are matte stickers so um, I'll show you this week which I have put a few stickers on because I still have quite a few Erin Condren stickers um, to use up but you can see that you can use those in this planner with no issues because the space is so much bigger um, like I have a checklist here no it doesn't line up perfectly with the lines in this planner but it's not horrible and I think it's definitely usable um, this weekend banner was a double weekend banner um, I put it catty corner just so I would cover up Saturday but uh, it's you know you can see how much bigger these boxes are compared to an Erin Condren uh, and then I used one of the meal planner stickers you see it didn't even take up a quarter of this extra kind of notes box um, and then one of the habit trackers so you can see that you can still use these stickers and still have plenty of room to write around them if you end up either putting on a checklist or uh, putting on one of these trackers and want to add something else to it it's not like you're crammed in and have to either erase it or white it out or whatever so um, like I say in my opinion it's a lot more customizable than the Erin Condren also these come with these elastic bands that are attached um, to close it I know the Erin Condren have the like hair tie kind of no, they're not hair ties but they have the bands that you can buy separately to um, basically keep your uh, calendar shut when you're like traveling and stuff or if you want to put papers in it they're not going everywhere necessarily so this one is attached at two points and there are like there's a bunch of different color options there's even a metallic gold one so uh, the only like downside to like the personal planner over the Erin Condren as of right now I don't know if they're going to incorporate this at some point is Erin Condren's have their movable changeable covers um, as you can see uh, but the personal planners do not at this time do that so you're kind of stuck with the cover unless you just want to like redecorate it or figure out a way to get it to fit um, for a different planner but uh, that is my uh, kind of overview of my new personal planner for this year and how it's different from the Erin Condren so I'll leave the link down below for the personal planners website um, it's not an affiliated link it's just uh, because I actually do think they do high quality products um, and it's a good option other than the Erin Condren if you want something a little more customized um, Price-wise, they are very similar in my opinion. The Erin Condren, I think the last time I bought it was like $55 or $60 for the customized cover. Um, I think I added an extra like five bucks to it. And I think I got the 18 month as well, which is another five bucks. The personal planner for the larger size is $60. But it's flat rate 60, so that includes shipping. And since it's an international company, that's actually a pretty good deal. Uh, I know most of the time I can get an Erin Condren with free shipping. I think I did it the last time I bought one. Uh, but you know, you have to look at your options and see you know what's going to work out best for you. If you like the smaller planner, the the Erin Condren is slightly bigger than the next size down of the personal planner. Because I've gotten the next size down of the personal planners before and I didn't really like it because it was almost too small for me um, because it is smaller than the Erin Condren. So personal planner has a lot of size options so definitely take a look at those. And uh, 
Let me know what your thoughts are down below and hope you have a great day guys.